Alright guys, what's going on? Today I am driving to get my wife's um, 2018 Chevy Trax installed a remote start. She's got a remote start on that already from the factory. It's a 2018. She bought it in 2017. Uh, well, late 2017, like December 2017. They installed the uh, remote start on it from the factory. But she's been having issues with it for the longest, for like the past two years, three years that I can recall. Um, so the issue, I don't know if that's something, we ch changed the battery and the key fobs and um, it still doesn't solve the issue, which is the range. Range from turning, turning the car on. You know, you could be, 20 feet away from the vehicle and it won't start like you can hear it and see the lights turn on and something's going on with it um i don't want to take it back to the dealer because it's out of warranty already i'm sure um so she's been always complaining about the issue and it's annoying it's annoying because when i use her vehicle sometimes it's annoying trying to start your vehicle not even from our home to the garage you know i got two alarms well, not alarms, because I don't like alarms, you know, back in the day, I think back in the day when, back in the day, um, alarms were popular, but so sensitive alarms, so I, I don't want any of that noisy crap anymore, you know, I just want open and close the doors and start it for the winter, because that's the main thing, you know, I, you don't want to go in, in the cold and have to sit there and wait till your car warms up, so point is that my wife doesn't know, but I am driving to this one guy, the garage, which he's gonna install the uh, remote start. So hopefully uh, she'll be happy uh, about this remote start. I'll keep you guys uh, posted. Yes, well, just so that you guys can see, I mean, I'm not that far from the vehicle right now. We got the key fob here. I'm gonna try and see if I can turn it on from here. Okay, well, it did turn on from here. Okay, but if we come a little further out, we'll see if it'll turn on because this is further out than from our home to the garage and it won't turn on. And it's turning on, of course, because I am freaking videotaping it. But um, I don't know if it has to do with it being cold or I have no idea, but it does not work when you first want to start it. I could literally be like right here, this far away, and it will not turn on uh, in the morning, like at the first start when you want to start it. And um, this this happens all the time, except for when I already drove it and I'm doing a video, of course. But um, we'll see what what the uh, guy says right now. So yeah, we're here already with Marco working here. We're gonna do the uh, 3,000 feet two-way remote, which is this one. He explained it's a two-way radio command it gives you the command when you turn it on or unlock and lock it'll let you know when it it's unlocked or unlocked it'll send you the the, the signal in there you can use that as an example okay. that's the other one <laughs> no worries but yeah so this is the one he's going to be doing Pump and start. So lock and lock. So we'll show you an example once it's it's all done. But he works in his garage, and if you guys are in the Chicago area, I will leave the contact info in there. Everything is back here. You take this panel off. You disconnect the three plugs that you need. It's literally a plug-and-play system. 
factory plugs go in here this replaces the factory plugs you, pro, you know you plug them in one by one because they are almost the same plugs you will get confused if you're not paying attention um then you mount everything up and secure it and program it and you're ready to go well, beautiful easy easy if you if, if you're doing it for the, the, the for the for you new uh gen x guys uh, it's, it's, a, it's simple but i want you guys to do good cars in the 90s where you have to hardwire everything let me see how good you really are it's not like in the back back nope. in the days right not like back in the days that sure is right i can't get my fat finger in there <laughs> And how long you been doing this? Since I was 15, I'm 44 now. Oh. This is all you do, right? Remote starts or? Yep, alarm every remote starts. <laughs> and again, this is for a 2018 Chevy Trax. Push to start, just so you guys know. A lot of you guys are technical about stuff. It's easy. Yes, it is. Some cars, not all. And this type of harness would apply to what uh, model vehicle? Uh, various vehicles. It's a whole bunch. A lot of the, a lot of the GM vehicles, really. Uh, I want to say 2010 and above, majority. Uh, the harness I am using does does do key setup and push to start setup. So this is almost the same thing as if this track was uh, the key. A key start. I can't get my fat fingers in there again. There we go. There's some tight places there, huh? Oh, yeah. All to it.
right guys well he's done installing the remote start on here and everything's put back together again with the uh, signal right there so he will explain how this two-way remote you gonna need work. to get a bigger a bigger ring to fit through here okay I got one at home. I think you I got, got one. Spare All right. one. Because it's not gonna. It won't even go through the. Yeah, see, won't even. Yeah. That's yours. Okay. So they both do the same thing. Just the one with the silver buttons is the, the one that does a two way for you, like the master. Yeah. So lock. That's letting you know doors open. Don't mind that. Okay. So doors. Is open. That was probably off. the the hood, no? Oh, yeah. So here we go again. Lock. Unlock. You have power trunk? Yeah. Find that ring out. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. yeah, it's got a button, but maybe it's. No, I'm like, it doesn't go automatically. No, right? automatically okay, it doesn't go off. That's fine. So even at that, it just unlocks it for you. Okay, and just pull it out. Remote start. You hold it down to the beeps, or for three seconds. Once you hear that beep, it's connected to the car. Car will turn on. Two seconds later. Remote starts, hit the brake because it's push to start, then it's going to turn on now. That's a confirmation saying the car turned on, all the little lights are going to flash, and every as the time goes down, the lights will start to disappear. I think it's set for 25 minutes, so once it goes down in minutes, one of these lights will start to disappear. When you have one left, you have six minutes left. Okay. All right, the same way. You turn it on, you can turn it off. Holding it for three seconds. Holding it for three seconds until it beeps. Shuts off. Okay. okay. This All does right. the same thing, just doesn't beep or anything. Okay. You hold it down for remote start. All the lights will turn on. Okay. All right. That's it. Well, if anybody wants uh, to get remote starts, uh, let work. me know or let you know, and we'll get it going. All right. All right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Well, that that was it. This alarm um, was three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Well, not an alarm again. It's just a remote start with um, open and close the doors. Uh, pretty simple process, but you got to know what you're doing in, able, in order to do these things. Uh, but we'll see if my wife is uh, happy that we got her uh, the remote start. Okay, our next stop will be here at the uh, car wash we are gonna get this car a car wash because it is dirty and even though it is not my um what do you call it like my best option because it never is really the best wash all right, so I got the basic watch. As you can see, she put the big old B for basic because she thinks I'm cheap. But actually, it's not that cheap. Freaking eight dollars and fifty cents just for a basic watch. I could probably just got my hose out and hose the car down, but we'll see. Let me move this out. Okay, well, these are the instructions from the uh, um, 
remote start but big old B couldn't make it any bigger I'm sure she cut off but yeah. I'm sure I'm not gonna probably get that because I'm basic you know they probably got the premium wash or maybe everybody gets that we will see I guess we do get it we're not that basic after all Get in there, man. Get in there. Get all that dirt out. Alright, so this one guy gets the left side and this guy gets the right side. Sometimes I feel bad for these guys because it's freaking wet and they're getting all wet sometimes. I sometimes bring my wife here and tell her that we're going to the club. Cause it kind of feels like you're at a club because of all the lights they got going on in there. With no music. Yeah. Car wash. And now we're gonna put it in neutral. And we're getting the washy wash. Wash that off. Look at that. Wash this off easy. This is where I feel like we started the, the party. Got no music. But I really don't like uh, these uh, car washes because, again, I feel like they don't wash as good as one does at home but it'll take some of the dirt out and the salt and all that grime and i don't want to be washing out in this cold i think it's like 27 or 30 degrees out so gotta spend the eight dollars and fifty cents at least Alright, and now we got the rinse here. Just a little shower of water. And the blowers. So we can get some of the water out of the car. And I did also Filled out, filled up my wife's tank. She was literally at an empty. Now we are pretty much at full now. We're just gonna wait for that green light. So can, oh, 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 green light, let's go. And we can get out of here. I know these guys can dry it, but ah, thank you very much. We can just drive off. Oh yeah. All right guys, so let's see how it came out. Obviously way better than how it was. You see. But see, like I said, it doesn't wash it as good as you would, you and I would. See, here's all this dirt still. It doesn't get to the front. And here, you know, the sides, I guess we can say they are good because of those roller um, thingies. Only the front and the back are the ones that usually aren't as good. But again, as we can see here, I mean, for $8.50, I kind of feel that's a ripoff. It should have been maybe. Um, I would say maybe about five bucks at least, but it is what it is. Hi 
right guys, well I'm on my way to pick up my wife, but I think uh, the uh, train is there already or not yet, or maybe you left already? No, I don't think the train is there yet, not yet, or maybe yes, I see people here already walking, maybe not, maybe not, we will see. Um, no, she would have been right there already, waiting, all mad, because I haven't picked her up. So we'll just, uh, bust the U-turn here, and maybe wait for her over there. Well, guys, I wasn't able to pick up my wife from where she was supposed to wait for me, but, um. Failed. Yeah, I failed. Hi, guys, this is my channel. Who the hell yes, you think that's you are? his channel. But here's the wife. Okay, I want to show you something, babe. Come here. I'm gonna open up these curtains. Without breaking them, please. Yes, without breaking them. Woohoo! <laughs> How did you do that? Um, with the controller. No, I know, but. Oh, I get it. You see? So you're gonna keep one here at home? Yes. So what, what, how many, did you order two more or okay? And then check it out. Three seconds. One, two, three. And then it's gonna beep here, letting you know that it it, it did turn on. Oh cool! <laughs> Finally! Okay. So what was wrong? A lot? No, not that it was wrong. It's just that the factory one comes with game changer. Two hundred feet of range, so now it's on. What was the range? Two hundred feet. <laughs> Did you tell him even when you were like literally on top of the car? It yeah. Still wouldn't... Something was wrong with it. I tried to show on the video. I went far, far away, and it would turn on. So it embarrassed me. <laughs> on the video. No, but pues no, well, I know that. So here's, so this is how you do it. And then if you want to turn it off, just press it one time. No, the same thing, I think. Is this what you were doing seconds. with my car? Yeah, today. So three seconds. And it turns off, you see? Turn it off. So the same button? Um, yes. So unlock, ah. I mean lock. Tell you it's locked. And then you can see here, the, it'll turn green when it's unlocked unlocked uh -huh. and then again you press it three seconds one two and then it'll send the signal and then Go on, ah! once it turns on this is how you'll know it, it turned on beep, beep. yeah see nice now turn it off turn it off again cool. so you press it three seconds three seconds my car is like can you stop? Oh, cool. Thank there you. you have it.